Georgia legislators have debated educational vouchers on and off since the 1950s. At its most basic, a school voucher is an amount of money provided by state government to parents for use at private educational programs, like tuition at private schools. In 2008, Georgia passed a voucher that acts as a tax credit. Tax credit vouchers redirect money that would otherwise have entered the state's general funds instead to tax shelters that are then paid to parents for use for private school tuition. Georgia's tax credit voucher program commands $100 million each year, or enough to pay the salaries for 2,200 public school teachers. To date, Georgia has lost out on $650 million because of this tax credit voucher. More recently, Georgia legislators entertained passing a more traditional voucher that would take existing state funds provided to public schools and instead move them for use in private education programs. Voucher proponents make the case that these policies are revenue neutral, since the state would spend the same amount on a public school as a private one for each student. What is ignored, however, is the disastrous effects vouchers can have on individual school budgets. If a school loses three students to a voucher program, they cannot cut off three seats in a school bus or reduce the heating bill by three students amount. These fixed costs remain regardless. Even if only 5% of Georgia's students use a voucher, the effect of the loss of state funds can be incredibly damaging to the schools that educate the remaining 1.6 million children. The loss of students to unaccountable private schools can have particularly disastrous effects on rural school systems that rely more heavily on state funds than the rest of the state. Georgia schools are already struggling to pay for costs that increase while revenues remain flat. Vouchers would exacerbate these struggles, particularly for rural Georgia. State lawmakers that want to support Georgia's students should resist vouchers and continue to invest in policies that have actually proven to work, adequate and fair funding for all of Georgia's schools.